and welcome back to Zoom at the Hugh Lane. Today I have got a creative art idea for you to do inside your sketchbooks. Do you remember how Francis Bacon used pictures for inspiration for his artwork? Well, we are going to do the same. We are going to make mosaic collages. Mosaic is when you cut up pieces of paper and stick them together to make a pattern. So the first thing you have to do is choose a picture that you really like that will inspire you to make some beautiful art. I chose this picture because I like the way the lady's looking out towards the sea, which makes me think of travelling and seeing new places. Think about why you might like the picture you've chosen. And remember, it has to fit inside your sketchbook, so don't forget to measure it against the page. So the first thing you have to do is cut your picture into two pieces. I've cut mine across the middle. You could make a hole in it, or you could cut a corner of it, any way you want to, and just into two pieces. Next, choose a different coloured background to put your picture on. Try and think of something that might suit the image. Here I've chosen blue because it makes me think of the sea. So now it's time to make the mosaic part of your collage. So start to cut half your picture into small pieces. I've made mine into rectangles, but you could make them into any shape you like. And now it's time to arrange the pieces however you would like. As you can see, I'm putting mine into rows, but you can put them any way you like. Make a pattern, put them into groups. And once you've decided where you want to put them, it's time to glue them down. So for the next part, we're going to find some words in our newspapers that we like and cut them out and add them to our picture. I chose some words that fitted with our, my ideas about travelling, like adventures and journeys and the chance to disappear. If you wanted to, you could also cut out some bigger letters from the headings, but I would recommend keeping the words short. Now you can arrange your words and letters however you like on your page. I've changed some of the words here. I've cut out the go and added it so I can write you can really go. If you wanted to also, you could write your own words on a plain piece of paper and cut them out. Once 
Once you're happy with where they're all positioned, you can glue them down and then you can take your collage and stick it inside your sketchbook. And finally, as a finishing touch, you could add a border to your mosaic collage, either dots or dashes or a line. It's just a way of giving your artwork a frame inside your sketchbook. So finally, I really hope you've enjoyed creating your mosaic collages and I'm really looking forward uh, to seeing all the beautiful artwork that you've made and I hope that you have fun. Bye for now.